after um, India is here to redeem or to show what they are actually made of despite not making the finals whereas New Zealand they've got nothing to lose and everything to look forward to and um, losing 3-0 in the group match and of course they have something to prove in this match once again that does sound like fence sitting though Vicky you're not making a call are you I, I, it's, it's a very tough call Mandeep just bounced off the stick and fell to clear by Nick Ross oh that's not good from Crepia and you don't want to give it to this man Joyce with a good save Mandeep Singh denied his sixth goal of the tournament we'll get a replay as soon as we can but in hockey the action comes thick and fast deflection double deflection from Mandeep and Sunil New Zealand seems to not have uh, settled down yet Cleared by Joyce, safely so, and that's an important interception from Richard Joyce. Rupin Dapal, carried out of the ball, but Summit again to the baseline, and again across the face of goal, and again no India stick. Crepia, nice skills, two ahead of him as he goes into the circle. Good expert positioning from Manfred Singh. Very well read by Manfred Singh, but Trefio could have gone and made a baseline pass. That would be a safer and better option, knowing that it's just a couple of seconds left. Uh, shootouts in the round robin stage for matches that ended all square. It didn't come to pass, but that's what the teams have got to deal with in the World League. And there will be a shootout here if we are all square at the end of 60 minutes. Ajit. Akash Deep's made a good darting run. Akash Deep, Maisie dribble wins the penalty corner. Very, very quick. Three different change of direction by Akash Deep in that instance, earning India yet another penalty corner. Very good forward pass by Ching Lun Sana, and you can see shift to the right, to the left, and back to the right, hitting the foot of. New Zealand defender and Miss Kim in earning a penalty corner here. Rupin Dapal is one that you want. Rupin Dapal Singh, his second goal of the tournament. India have the lead they deserve. Well, they clearly realize that the gap is on the right bottom because two runners running from the left, cutting that angle earlier by Harman Preet. And here Rupi Nepal picks up the ball with the right timing and pace, beats Joyce on right down of the goalkeeper, just close to his kickers, where he had little chance to move because of the timing and the quickness of the flick. Very well picked up and you can see Joyce had little time to move his right foot, where he just collapsed, thinking that he could save that quick flick by Rupinder Pal earning India's first goal in this game. Sada was alert to that pass. And now Youssef on the charge. Two blue shirts ahead of him. Talwinda and this is Sunil. Sunil to the D. Talwinda at the back post. Youssef was at the front post, but there's no connection, no shot. Again, very well worked. Sada to Sunil, Sunil to the baseline, and then that pass to Yusuf, and Yusuf could do so little with that opportunity. Summit finds Manpreet, and Manpreet looks for Mandeep. Look at the pace of Mandeep Singh. Mandeep Singh all the way. Mandeep ahead of Akash Deep, but a penalty corner for India. A thrilling charge from Mandeep Singh. Manpreet, and that is the reason why the penalty corner was awarded. The chance, Rupinda. Second of the game. Identical finish to the first. New Zealand in firm control of this bronze medal match.
<laughs> India probably read the weakness of New Zealand defence and there was a big, huge vacuum there. And this is where Rubinda again used his pace and timing, flicking right down with the goalkeeper, not able to use his right leg, saving that ball, but how, how can a tall guy come down with a stick? It's not easy. And there's any doubts about that. World rank number six, it was expected to be India versus Australia. Akashdeep is allowed to travel a long way, Akashdeep. It's a very unflappable character for his Sunil. Fires in. Talwinder blocked in the act of shooting by Corey Bennett. Now there's a chance of a quick breakaway for the Black Sticks, but not before the Hooter goes for the end of the third. Summit. And if there is a shootout, I'd imagine you'd hear the ramifications from here to Delhi. Summit. Muir. Matai Wells. Takes it in his stride, Chinglin Sana ahead of him. Mandeep trying to trick his way into a penalty corner situation. Oh, what a goal! SV Sunil, fine cross from Mandeep, and Sunil converts for his first goal of the tournament. Very timely, very timely pass with Sunil just enough to overtake the New Zealand defender to slap the ball home. Very well controlled by Mandeep, taking his time, very composed, and a square pass. And you could see Sunil coming from behind, just enough to overtake Corey Bennett, who thought he had control of the ball. But then Sunil coming in, and a very quick deflection, with no chance for Devon Manchester out of his reach, scoring India's third goal of the match. Sardar Singh, Harman Preet, touched on to the crossbar. That one by Yusuf, but uh, much better from India. They look a quality side now. A warm shower and the safety of the dressing room. As Manfred, lovely to Talwinda, 4 0. Well, we can clearly see that the New Zealanders are starting to lose concentration, thinking that a 3 0 defeat is okay. But then India just kept on pursuing. And here, a, a baseline pass to Tawinda through the same pass. And Tawinda found space and made a clear reverse shot with Devon Manchester still between the goals. Not enough to cover that reverse shot angle taken by Tawinda, scoring India's fourth goal. The injury to Srijesh will be out for the rest of the season. But they can console themselves with a bronze medal in the Aslan Shah. A comprehensive 4-0 victory.